very loudly on the radio, call medical timeout, medical timeout, medical timeout. Then give us a few seconds to uh, stop the play and let us know the jersey number and which team it is. In this video showing some of the preparation, some of what may have helped save the life of Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin when he went into cardiac arrest during Monday night's game against the Bengals, certainly every single second counted. The safety video showing a simulation of a meeting that takes place an hour before every single game. The protocol is updated before the start of every season. Referees, paramedics, team doctors, trainers from both teams running through emergency procedures and exchanging contact information as well. They discuss where an ambulance and transport carts will be parked, where paramedics will be on each sideline with defibri defibrillators. Joining us now with more, Daniel Kelly II, clinical professor at the Preston Robert Tisch Institute for Global Support at NYU. Professor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. What did we see in this incident that shows some of the procedures that may not come to most fans' minds as they watch a game? Um, the fact that the NFL has an emergency action plan and they're prepared um, as part of this action plan is a 60 minute medical meeting and in this meeting the game officials get a chance to meet with the actual um, team staff on the medical the athletic trainers the certified ATPs everybody who's a part of the, the medical support protocols and procedures for the NFL game. And it's an, an elaborate meeting that goes over the details of where all the resources are, and of course, the protocols and procedures for safety. And this process happens every single game. It's been in place for the past 10 years, and it's been something that was put into fruition because of the increase with CTE issues with concussions. And these protocols went a long way towards saving or possibly helping the situation with the more it is certainly not enough to have a defibrillator somewhere on site, equipment somewhere. It's so vital that they all know the location when every second counts. And when we saw just in the World Cup that journalist Grant Wall tragically collapsing, there was no defibrillator in that stadium. Yeah, uh, the processes are so important. And I think that, you know, the situations that are happening, especially with the instance with Grant Wall, to see that when there's a lack of the preparation with the emergency action plan and what could be the situation with DeMar Hamlin, this may end up saving his life with the time saving measures. And so the 60 minute medical meeting was a fantastic addition to the emergency medical plan. And also it went a long way towards ensuring that the operations that everybody's on the same page, the, the, the phrase medical timeout being uttered three times into the into microphones for the officials lets them know that which player needs to be assisted and also assist with the process. Um, the bottom line is DeMar Hamlin went into cardiac arrest and had to be resuscitated for 10 minutes through CPR. And this process doesn't happen if they don't have the proper medical plan in place. Was there anything the NFL could have done differently on Monday night? I don't think so. The NFL communicated very well. Um, if you think about it, everything happened within a 15 minute time period. And I don't think that anything could have changed, especially considering that they did not play the game, which was, I think, the biggest case. Normally, when a player is injured or there is some kind of medical emergency, um, the player who has been injured can give a thumbs up and then the play can resume. The players feel comfortable continuing with the competition. In this case with DeMar Hamlin, that was not the case. And thus, the players, the coaches, the NFL's um, SVP, Troy Vincent, um, Roger Goodell, from the top down, all throughout the league, throughout the, the game and the officials, they all made the right decision. I certainly appreciate your time. Daniel Kelly, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.